All right, uh, welcome back to the scrub dome. So I realized a mistake I made, and I learned this as I was editing the last episode. I'm dumb. This isn't set up proper. At least I don't think it's set up proper. I don't know if I can fit a uh, thing in between there. I don't have any refined metal to test. Which means I actually need to lower this whole thing, and I have to pretty much destroy most of it. Pretty much, this top section is fine because it has the space in between, so I could fit in a auto sweeper. Which once I get that fit in, it'll take care of all the coal for me because I'm gonna be busting the coal down from over here. But I still have to wait for all this water to get moved out, which is why it's being bust over here. But I also have all this water dripping down. It's a very long process, so I have to completely redo this room. So I'm going to. So this is what it should more look like. It's that gap in between is going to let the auto sweeper come through, which is just going to make it so the duplicates never actually have to come down here. So they never have to worry about the carbon dioxide. And unfortunately, I need to get this set up quickly because I have these larva eggs up here, which are already at 22% incubation. And I want them down here where it's warm. Yeah, like right in there where it's sitting about 93 degrees. It's time. Oh, I mean, it's almost time. It's time to start getting ready to break into the slime biome. We are tackling slime today. So the biggest thing about slime is it just takes forever to actually get through. Slime lung isn't the biggest deal. It just takes a while. What are these ones made out of? These are... Oh, they're made out of sandstone? Oh, I should have made them out of different material. Sandstone's good, but it only ups the decor. I needed granite. I think what I'll need to do for now as well... It'll put out some bad heat, but... Go ahead and dig that out. Plus, there's murk root in there. Surprised at how well I'm surviving off of uh, mealwood. There's also all the slime up here. That's right, I forgot about the cool steam vent. I'm gonna learn how to tackle you in... Well, not this episode, but soon. Also, I know it says it's a cool steam vent, but that thing's radiating at 210 degrees. The oxygen is over 100, sitting somewhere close to 150 to 160. Oof, that's gonna be uh, fun to deal with. Also, I'm still only currently operating off this single algae diffuser, which is making it very difficult down here. I think I'll put a carbon skimmer down here as well, so... I only need a little... I, I only need a little bit in the carbon skimmer, but the other thing I'm going to need down there, and I know I'm going to need it, are some jumbo batteries. This is just a temporary thing. It'll get removed eventually, so I'm going to connect it up like that. But I have to let that get connected up. Luckily, there's a lot of copper right there, and there's a lot of copper down there, but I am using a lot of copper. At least there's a lot of gold in there. I can tap into this iron at some point, which will... Well, the iron need, we'll see how well it actually solves the rest of my needs. Pro it probably won't solve anything, but I'm hoping it does. I'm going to... There we go. I know you don't have an output yet. Because I have to be... I'm going to slow him down, because I have to be kind of quick on this. Because it doesn't need a lot. Five. Six. Okay, okay. That is a yellow alert destruction. We did get a little bit of water moved out. And don't, like, that will make sense in time. Yeah, I just have to let him run for a little bit. Gotta let him finish up a couple of projects. Gotta disable a couple of things as they go along. But we're getting to slime today. I'm gonna show you how easy it actually is to rip through a slime biome. Okay, so. The power room is effectively now complete. Except for putting the airflow tiles here. And I'm fairly certain this will let me work with three slicksters. Uh, how's the... Okay, yeah. So, the point of this little system here 
Because this will take any carbon dioxide. It, it'll turn. It takes water. But if you put it next to a water sieve, it has an infinite source of water because of it. It takes carbon dioxide that passes by it, sucks it up, and turns it into fresh air, which is why this area in here is slowly becoming more better and better air. Eventually, you can use, like, it's a temporary thing. I'm going to get rid of it eventually. And if you get to the point where all the water gets into the water sieve, you get nothing but clean water back. It's a process, but it's good to have. But now... We're into the slime. And mostly what I need to focus on is getting down under here. Way down. Oh, there's salt water down there. And there's hydrogen in there. I'm going to have to deal with that hydrogen. Uh, I'm just going to cap it. I'm just going to cap it like I usually do. So the big thing to deal with polluted oxygen. Deodorizers. I'm putting these two right here. These are the most important ones. Because as the polluted oxygen rises, they'll suck it up. They take sand and they'll emit clay. I am planning on putting like a um, airlock here. I'll have to put a brick there too. So, manual airlock. There's the O button for rotate. And a tile there. And then I'm also just going to block this side off for now. Eventually this block will come down. Uh, you know, because we're going to rip through all that as well. You know what? This will all eventually come down anyway, but. And then that will be the edge of my base for now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip through all this. I'm going to get a whole bunch of deodorizers down and then you just got to let it sit. That's the worst part is you just have to let it sit. But you also can't set it up the way that I usually like to where I have these four spaces in between. Deodorizers will only hit the three spaces above them. So you have to set it up as three spaces. They also can't sit on ladders. Which really sucks. But once that manual airlock is built, I'm just going to destroy my way down as far down to like... Yeah, like here. It's time to tackle the slime. I've already set up quite a bit. And normally I don't let everyone go down. Normally I keep someone set aside just because. Because I just want to blow up that hydrogen as soon as I get down there. So they're, they are going to get some pretty yucky lungs. And as the slime actually gets dug out, the polluted oxygen will actually start getting slime lung. Right now it's just polluted oxygen. I could have carved out to a point where the slime wasn't a problem. Uh, my goal is to turn this bottom section here into a water basin. Uh, thinking about it, let's go ahead and cancel those. I think I'm just going to fill in the salt water too. Just not even bother dealing with it. We do have a couple of idle dupes just because you have to wait for supplies to come down. Because I want to make sure these get built first. I want the ladders to be a higher priority, otherwise they'll get stuck in there. And then it just becomes a problem. And if you just want to keep that from happening, take advantage of your priority system. Set the ladder priority slightly higher than everything else. I also realized I need to put down another ladder right there. This will make it so they build the ladders first so they don't get stuck. See, like, right there. Right there. See, they got pseudo-stuck. See, now he's pseudo stuck. So now I have to like priority seven. All of that. So they all focus on getting that built. Otherwise, he's going to drown. Turner, Turner, get out of there. Turner, Turner. Oh, Turner got out. But now we got two more people stuck down in there. Oh, Turner, you stupid idiot. I know I'm the one that told you to do that, but you're still an idiot. Pretty sure we've harvested some slime. So yeah, now you're starting to see slime lung get up in here. Uh, slime lung can only exist in polluted oxygen, which is why I have those there. But then just because I'm going to start getting a whole bunch of deodorizers spammed around, which means running all kinds of wiring down. Oh, 
This is a big slime biome. I thought I was just going to stretch out this way with all that sedimentary rock. Oh, that reminds me. I have sedimentary rock now. I can get these guys eating the things I want them to eat. Sedimentary rock. Copy settings. Because I want these guys to become stone hatches. Stone hatches are really good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. Guys, we got a priority. We got priority nine now. That needs to be done now. We can't lose Lyra. Lyra? Okay, thank God. Oof. Wait, wait, so they just have to do that for a while. I'll see you in a couple of cycles. All right, so it's been going for a little bit now, and they're starting to get this brace set up. I have everything in there ripped out, and they're starting to get the deodorizers down. They're starting to connect the power. Literally, once that's set up, you're done there. Move on to another project. Why do I keep looking at this screen? My camera's right here. Why am I still making this mistake? You could rip through all this at the same time if you want to. I'm just not bothering to. Normally, I double airlock this. But since I'm also so close to the power section, since I want to try to get this set up, but I don't know if I'm going to get to because they're at 64%. I might just have to kill them for me. Well, the next thing I want to work on after getting this all torn out and taken care of is I want to get the rest of the stables set up, which is pretty easy overall, especially since I'll get to rip through some more stuff. Uh... I need to set up a basin here as well, though, just because there's all this other stuff around me. Honestly, I might be able to use this if I can find a cold biome. If I can find a cold biome, I can get a oxygen diffuser system set up to the point where I no longer have to worry about oxygen in my own base. Without having to pull a whole bunch of polluted water. Which is... Wait... Wait. There might be one over there. Oh, someone got slime lung. Amari got slime lung. So, while they have slime lung, every time they cough, they will emit uh, like a thousand slime lung germs. But again, it can't exist in clean oxygen. So in time, it'll just go away. Like, yeah, see a thousand slime lung germs. We have some moving up. But honestly, it won't make it very far. Like, even here, you're noticing we're getting like 10 to 20 slime lung germs at a time. It just can't move past because this is all all clean oxygen. And in time, all of this will be clean oxygen. Like, you're starting to see it happen in here. Like, these things that have 800,000 slime lung in the slime is already going down. It's already in the tens of thousands. Up in here, you're only in the thousands of thousands. And the higher you go, the lower it gets. So eventually it just isn't a problem anymore. Which is why once all these diffusers are set up, you can just ignore it. Now, you can also eventually clean this water too if you want to. Polluted water has other uses. I'm not going to bother with it. My goal is to figure out how to use this cool steam vent. And if there is an ice biome like I think there is... I could run this over, run it through like two or three loops and then run it back and split it. One to run into an oxygen thing and one to run into uh, my actual water source. But the big thing I also need is a bunch of reed fiber still. I need more reed fiber. Reed fiber is what you use to make suits is you can go to like chlorine biomes, hydrogen biomes. Sometimes I actually use it to rip apart slime biomes just because I don't like dealing with them. Oh god, I'm only down to a thousand calories. I'll, yeah, but some of my meal wood's gonna be ready tomorrow, so it'll be fine. 600 calories. I need this meal wood to grow. And I'm gonna need to kill you. It'll increase my calorie count. One of you are gonna have to be a sacrifice as well. You. You're a sacrifice. Like, see, already this is mostly clean oxygen in here. These bottom ones will probably always run because polluted water will always emit polluted oxygen. But because it's already mostly clean, you're already seeing more and more of the slime lung just go down further and further. But anyway, that's set up. I just have to let it be. 
They'll deliver sand down to it continuously. But let's start getting the other... So you'll notice these rooms are pretty big. Each one of these rooms is about 100 inside tiles. And that 100 inside tiles is important because that's going to give us the most room to get more, the most bang for our buck. Wait, trapped. Well, of course you're trapped. You did this like an idiot. All right, guys, this is a priority seven right here. It's your higher priority of everything. Did, did she just fall asleep? She's just... She's just taking an apple trapped. Probation. It's okay. We, we have food now. You'll be fine. There we go. Now she can get out. Oh, man. Sometimes dupes are stupid. And with that, all the stables are now going to be set up. I just have to wall them Oh. I mean, I guess the three main stables will be set up. They're delivering all the sedimentary rock. I just realized that. Oh, Otto, you're so close. One more level up and Otto gets us to Mechatronics and then everything just becomes so much simpler. Frankie, you already got Critter Ranch and you need to start working on becoming a doctor. And yeah, that's going to give us plenty of food, which will let us sustain that. So much is getting done. We've tackled the slime biome, which is important and not as hard as the first time I ever played this game as I thought it would be. Oh, man, the room's 97 tiles. Be a shame if I just did that. So stables can only be 96 tiles. The reason you dig out for 100 spaces is because when you set this up, it keeps them trapped in here so they can't wander all throughout this, making it difficult for your sweeper system, which we'll get into probably in the next episode unless I feel like skipping a whole bunch more stuff and getting it set up but my guy for mechatronics isn't even ready yet that's next but you set it up to be, to be 100 because the two spots the door takes up and the one spot here count as being in the room and taking up space so you just gotta stick a tile up there I do need to get rid of that though because I want to get the top of this filled in and of course, some of my stuff got pushed to the other side. Ooh, any new good duplicates before that? I'm going to take them. I am going to take them. Mostly because I probably have to kill the first three, because the first three are nearly done incubating. Where are the first three at? Yeah, they're going to be done incubating literally into the next section. They can, however, become the oxygen version of the Slicksters, which usually is why I stop getting oil before I somehow mess it up. Which wouldn't be too bad. Print the Slickster eggs. There's now six Slickster eggs in there. Which means I need this to finish to set up the Slicksters, but I also need to get them much further down. I have a lot of dupes idle right now just because I don't have anything for them to do. I guess if I wanted to, I could start ripping out this direction. I think that's the cold biome over there. That's that's water in there. I think I know what's in there. I think I've encountered something like that design before. Part of me also wants to start ripping up this direction. But before I do that... I'll want to set up some sort of barrier, probably right here. So I'm going to have to start also tackling this slime over here. Which means I'm going to put some more oxygen diffusers like right. Well, I'll put one like right here, but two over here. But for now, you know, we got through the uh, slime biome. At least the start of a slime biome. It turns out it goes way deeper than I thought it did. I want to know how deep this goes. I'm going to find out how deep that rabbit hole goes. Oh, yep. There are my Slicksters. They're going to starve because there's no... Carbon dioxide. But look at him. Look at that little guy. 
Look at him. He just looks so adorable. See, right now they're consuming oxygen. Which, where is it? Is it... No, oh, wait, that's right. It won't actually get there until later. Eventually, they can actually get to the point where they consume oxygen. They become... Uh, so, where is it? Yeah. Takes in 20 kilograms of carbon dioxide, outputs 10 things of oil. Then you have long hair slickster, which can live in the base pretty comfortably. Mostly what this is for is for decor. They consume 30 kilograms of oxygen a cycle, though. But they give a really good decor bonus. This is what you really want, though, the molten slicksters. Oh, they actually put out oil. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mop. Mop that oil. I actually didn't think they'd put out oil. Ooh, that could be bad, because, mm. I'm gonna need to block that side off. I'm gonna have to watch them closely. They will eventually get to the point where they feel like they're starving. Now, I can't wrangle them because they have to be wrangled in a specific trap, and I can't make the trap. Should I keep them? All right, so in the next episode, we're going to get that Slickster cage set up. We're going to get it pretty low for a while. Hopefully they don't give birth to any long hair slicksters. That wouldn't be very beneficial to me. So next episode, this should be mostly cleared out and we can extend this down. Let the carbon dioxide come down. These will also produce heat, which will also make it easier for them. They're it's pretty cool right now. The reason I have these in here is to help with that. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll put a uh, heater down with the slicksters as well. I can have one of these siphoning off towards that. Is that hydrogen? That is hydrogen. I'm going to have to deal with that. But anyway, we're out of time for today. So we're going to leave it at this. We've got all kinds of critter ranches set up. All my dupes are idle right now because I'm going to be getting into this next episode. I think chlorine is lighter than oxygen. I can't remember. I don't want to tap into it yet because I know it could also really mess up my dupes. So I ain't touching that. I really hope it doesn't try to break through this phosphate. Anyway, until next time, don't scrub out.